Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Sergeant Pratt here. Um, you said hey. And me. Oh, well, I was going to let you introduce yourself. Um, for anybody watching for the first time, I am the new Sergeant Shirley, the new operations superintendent. Um, the Sergeant Shirley is now the squadron superintendent. Um, so if you're joining us for the first time, myself and Sergeant Harrison, flight chief, you guys know him. Um, we're going to try to make this safety brief a little more efficient and answer any questions prior to uh, Sergeant Shirley and the commander coming in so that this goes a little bit quicker and we're not here until like six o'clock every day. Um, so with that being said, if you have any questions, Sergeant Harrison and I will do our best to answer them. If we say save that question for the commander and ask him again when he, when he comes in, then you're good to go for that. But if we answer a question, guys, and this is very important. If we answer a question, I understand that you may not like it, but asking the commander the same question after you got the answer from us is not, that's not gonna fly, okay? So do not play, don't play the mommy daddy game in our faces if you're gonna do it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so they're basically gonna look up at us and if we're like, we already addressed that, they're gonna move on. So um, if we say, hold that question, or I'm not sure, ask the commander, by all means, refire when he comes in. Um, but if we, I guarantee, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, we're on the same page. Our answers are going to be the same. We're locked in step. So um, anything that we answer is gonna be the same thing the commander says, okay? So do we have any questions? I just see people popping in. It's pretty low, so it's only 160. Yeah, we're usually at like two watching, something by now. Go get a friend and tell him to log on. Log or, in. Or if you're watching with a friend, the grab more your own the better. Phone and log on. I don't think there's any questions yet. I was gonna say to um, to give me your your restaurant questions, but oh. <laughs> that being it. said, Fourth of July, <laughs> uh, we're we're still we're we're gonna put on a grill. We're gonna get a grill and uh, get some hamburgers and hot dogs and whatnot. And we're still coordinating the time, but I, I'm wanting like noon to 1500. Uh, and we're still looking at the water balloons as well. So we're going to be getting that. Um, and no, I'm, we're not putting bleach in them to disinfect people. Uh, so no, they're, they're going to be legit water balloons. Oh, I think there's something. Now that the DOD has lifted the travel ban in almost all states, what can we expect in terms of leave slash leave and route in the near future? None. Not going to be approved, guys. No. No leave and route. Yeah, so the DOD can release theirs, but the, the wing commander can make uh, rules and guidance more stringent. Uh, so for the training pipeline, while you guys are leaving here in route to your first base, the wing commander here still owns you until you check into your next base. So they uh, decide where you can go, what you can do. That's why the approval has to come on this side first um, and not from your gaining unit. You are still technically a 17 training wing student until you check into your first base. So leave in route is not going to be approved. What was that? Does that include wrap? Yeah. Yes. No wrap. No wrap. Am I allowed to sit in nope. family member's car in visitor center park? No. Nope. No. No, if you have family that was coming in town to see you, the commander said to contact them and, and cancel it. Around, Tell yes. them to turn around. Do not collect $200. Do not pass go. Is it possible to do our PT test on the track rather than the flight line? It's a lot easier to pace yourself on the track, and most of my times on the track have been better. Same for other wingmen. Uh, get with your flights, guys. We'll look at that. Um, so I don't know for, yeah. for you guys, we, yeah. We have already coordinated the, the, the flight line out, but we'll look at the track as an option. The only thing with the track is that it gets a little harder to keep track of every airman that has to go around six times. So you lose track of where people are and how many laps they have left. Um, it's easier when it's just a down and back because you know when they're coming back then they're actually done. So, But if you are not, if you are in class, that's going to be a question for your flight leadership because they're the ones that kind of set where the, where the test happened. Karen moment. Many of the workers at the Western Winds that serve our food are not properly wearing masks on any given day. Nose and mouth exposed. Given their position, shouldn't they be most strict? Yeah, they should. Yes. Matter of fact, I was at the Western Winds today. I was trying to do the MTL Eat with Students. Um, uh, I happened to be with uh, Airman Rodriguez, and then there was another couple of airmen from the 315th. So, uh, 316th, I'm, I'm going to come down so I can like meet and just honestly conversate. 
it's it's going to be just human chat so we can understand why we're doing what we're doing and what we're we're here for uh look at us as guidance i know we make corrections and we do things but um we're here to help you through your military career uh, so start looking at us as is help and not hindrance they were talking about the workers i was going yeah i did see one oh. she was clearly well she had the mask like this Oh, like how um, a lot of the okay. work. <laughs> like on their chin. For the Western Winds comment, it will help if you have names. I don't know if they wear names on there, if I they have name tags, any, but that'll be something for the uh, MSG, I think, controls the, uh, so we'll bring that up. I have it. Thank you. I asked last week, and the commander said he'd okay. He'd look into bringing sparklers on base. Any updates? So I actually, I wasn't. Were you in the office when I asked about sparklers, and they yeah. laughed at me? Um, so I was there. The the response was Texas is a no burn zone, and you're not supposed to to burn anything at all. So then um, that was brought up, and then also what happens when an airman burns himself, and then that they have to go to medical and how did you burn yourself with a firework that you're not supposed to have? So um, the last thing I got from him was a no. Yeah. That's Tom Green County burn ban. So burn ban. We, yeah. We fall in that, unfortunately. What is the no leave out one? Oh, they're just commenting. Yep. Yeah. Can we still have a POV brought to us by family? Mm, good question. A, Ask yeah. the commander. Because I think um, what was in place before, like with Uber Eats and, and things like that, can, that can still yeah. happen. Um, quick, quick trips to the gate to get your, your food and back. No loitering, no hanging out at the visitor center, hanging out with your family, sitting in their car. That is, that's definitely a non-starter. That's not happening. Um, our annual PT test resuming this month or October? It's supposed to be October, but that might get pushed back. That's it. Numbers are pretty low, guys. Where are you guys at today? Everybody started their weekend early already? <laughs> That is correct. If your family has made travel arrangements to come, they are not to come. You have to contact them immediately and let them know that they are not able to come visit you. Sorry. Seeing as how Colonel Nazario's new rules start tomorrow at noon, can I still get a dine-in meal? A dine-in meal? A dine-in meal after this tonight. They're not supposed to be going off face in a week. No. Was that it? There, <laughs> is that an MTL or an instructor yeah. asking that, that question? Was, uh, Nathan Hardy. Nobody's supposed to be going off face yeah, in a week. Yeah, shouldn't be going. Hmm, Nathan Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> you Weird. outed yourself Just in front of everybody. Your out there. <laughs> Ouch, you make a meme about that. There was a J-Force truck on Saturday with people in blue polos with a stitched Air Force logo riding in the bed. Can we or can we not ride in the bed of a truck on base? No, you can't. Oh, the Hardy is an off-base airman, apparently. Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. No, you still can't dine in. Yes. Essential movements only, guys. Let's pick it up. And it goes for everybody. We all qualify. Yes. A J-Force truck. It's a J-Force truck. I'm just curious. Just to... Oh, hey, Atkins. He's checking in. <laughs> and Hardy is using himself in third person. <laughs> what did he say? Like he is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So. Can my oh, dependents wait. come on base? I'll, I'll take care of yep. that. Yeah. I'll, I'll fill out those questions. All right. All so right. at this time, we're going to turn it over to the commander and Sergeant Shirley. Hey, good afternoon. Uh, Got a couple of orders of business first. Um, Aaron Gupta, you want to talk to him? 
get all proper in front of the screen. I don't know how we do this, and this is the first time we've done it in a virtual world. So I, I, think, I don't think I can see you. I think you have to be facing here. There you go. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> we'll just have to take his rope off. Yes, like you wanted to do that for a while? I'll do that. I'll do Oh. All right, sir. All right, most of you know Aaron Gupia from uh, all the work he's done in streamlining our in process and keeping you guys straight in a time where we really aren't supposed to be in the same room or talk very much. Um, I appreciate all the work you've done on that. I really appreciate the conversations we had. When he came into the board to talk to us, um, it's always great to meet the Airmen because they're, they're, they're sometimes a little bit nervous, but your answers are some of the most true and heartfelt answers we've ever had. Uh, and then you came back today, we had an amazing discussion about what active leadership means. What it means to get involved, what what it means to you know help Airmen find the right answers, even when we're from different um, different generations. It made me feel old, but that's that's good and fair, and I appreciate that. So I, I really look forward to you being a red rope and meeting the challenges ahead, bro. Congratulations, man. Anything you want to say to people? While well, they still like you, in about two days they're gonna hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Retweet. Come on, man. It's the last time they're gonna like you. <laughs> That's on the spot. Yeah, hey guys, um, I'm Gupta. You guys all, all see me uh, in processing all around. Uh, I'm not going to say anything that I'm going to be any, doing anything different, but I appreciate all that you are, all the airmen, and all the experiences that I've gotten to share with you guys as you come here and sh your experiences as you leave this place as well. And thank you guys for being and letting me lead you through. And Amber Stone? Not me feel real short. Not that you didn't make me feel short. <laughs> All right, we know the drill. All right, so Aaron Stone, um, I, I'm going to be straight up with you guys. This has been a kind of almost an inevitable thing since the first time I met Aaron Stone. Um, this guy looks, acts, seems uh, like you know, he probably showed up at basic training as a red rope. Um, I'm incredibly impressed by him. Uh, hopefully you guys are too. Uh, we sat down and we talked today about humility and how to connect with people. Uh, I think he's an outstanding role model. I think he's going to be a phenomenal uh, asset to us as a uh, as not just a red rope, but as a model airman and how we can all strive to get better uh, in our daily lives here. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it's great to have you. What do you got? Um, for those of you who don't know me, hi, I'm Stone. Um, I just want to say what a pleasure it is to have the opportunity to serve you. And uh, if we haven't had a chance to talk yet, please come introduce yourselves. I want to get to know you guys and just let me know how we as a team, uh, whether it be red, yellow, green rope, or even an avid leader in training, let us know how we can best serve you. Let us know uh, if we're failing to uphold the same standards that we expect you to uphold and uh, keep us on the straight and narrow. But I appreciate every one of you. Thank you. Come on, I need to do all the fun stuff. Yeah. That means you have to answer the questions. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Emory Gordon. All right, be honest, you know what's in this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that kind of totally ruins it. All right, Emory Gordon, look surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Surprise face. Uh, Emory Gordon, open this in front of the camera so they can see it. All right, oh! Emory Gordon just got some extra stripes. Uh, congratulations, you're being promoted to senior and below the zone. Uh, you should be incredibly honored, right? I mean, this is the first chance in your Air Force to career to get promoted above and faster than your peers. That's amazing, dude. 
Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you know why you got promoted? Not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know? Uh, what did you do? Uh, there are a lot of things I did. Uh, I don't know. I think the most thing that stood out to me was just looking out for my wingmen. Uh, I tried my best to always be there for the people in my class and the ones that I interacted with. And somehow that managed to get me where I am now uh, between making course material at the LI and just doing stuff to make sure all everyone's having a good morale and all that stuff. So that, that really helped. Well, thank, thank you for this. <laughs> and uh, congratulations, man. Thank you, sure. Woo! You guys are welcome to run away now. It's not going to be a fun part. Yeah. It's going to be very comfortable. Cool. Probably with you. All right. Are you so excited? You have three reds now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, happy Thursday. Wednesdays. Wednesday. Happy yeah. Wednesday. Oh, my God. This has been the longest week ever. Yeah, and been. it's... <clears throat> Only the Wednesday. I almost said almost Thursday. Only Thursday. All right. Um, okay, so um, give me a second before you ask questions. Yeah. yeah there you are. Like, oh, God, like you must have started writing that before I even sat down. Okay, so we'll get to the questions. Um, but I do want to uh, be clear and give all the data uh, exactly the way that I intend to so my message is clear uh, before I get older and more tired. Um, as you are tracking. Based on Colonel Nazario's priorities, specifically his desire to ensure the safety of the, the population of this base, to protect the population from COVID, and ultimately to ensure the uh, pipeline stays open, he has restricted uh, the members of Goodfellow Air Force Base uh, with various restrictions, notably for the student body that will, is restricting you to base. Uh, for the permanent party staff, that's going to restrict them to 50 miles from base. So if you remember back how it was in March, we are now back into that posture. That is not due to any behaviors. It is due specifically to the spike in COVID, uh, both locally, and it has been a significant spike locally, as well as in the major metropolitan areas around here. Um, additionally, and of a very important concern, uh, there, aren't any, there aren't a lot of hospital beds left. The ICU availability in San Antonio, Austin, and Dallas is, is almost none. Uh, and locally, they're starting to be challenged with their hospital beds. Uh, additionally, the, uh, we have found recently the age 20 to 40 demographics is a lot more susceptible than we expected. Uh, so we are very much charged with keeping this out of our base and, and, and keeping you as healthy as possible. So while it is unfortunate that we have to restrict the student body, it is a necessary precaution. Uh, in order to keep the pipeline moving. That's pretty good. Yeah. Well said, sir. I mean, there's nothing more I can really add to I that. Do. You know, that's why you use your crown wing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it's, it's um, hopefully you guys understand this. We've been down this uh, this road before, so it's nothing that, you know, you guys can't handle. Um, we got to just stay focused on the larger picture, which is, you know, maintaining your safety uh, your security, getting you guys trained up and getting you out the door. So that's first and foremost um, our biggest focus and priority right now. So just ask that you guys, you know, stay as um, resilient as you have before as we go through this. So, and I'm, I'm going to wrap this up at the end after some questions. Um, but again, as, as we go through questions, I'll probably get old and tired. Um, I don't want to mess up this message either. Uh, we have done this before. Uh, there are people here that were here in March. Uh, Y'all execute, y'all kick the shit out of this challenge. Uh, what I need you to do right now is not physically, because we're going to keep our distance, find somebody who recently got here, virtually put your arm around them and show them how to do this, because um, we know how to. Um, we didn't know how to do this before. Uh, we figured it out. Let's do it again. Let's do it right. And in two weeks, we're going to have another mission planning thing, and we're going to move ourselves forward again. Because again, I, I know if there's a group of people that know how to do this right, it, it's the group of people here. So um, again, it's it's not ideal. It, frankly, it sucks. But I do know that we know how to do this. So I trust you guys to do the right things. Um, and, and I think it's going to work out if, if, if we just rinse and repeat what we did last time. 
All right, so um, uh, yeah, let's go with questions. So far, not only quite the questions have already been answered by most leaders. So cool. Yeah. I have a couple from before you guys got in here. Uh, when talking about PT, so AFM's tracker has exempt from my most recent test, which was supposed to be in September. Does this mean I got to wait until next year? Um, for an official test? Yeah, you're not going to get any, any credit for that till next year. Um, you can take, you're you going to take diagnostic tests to keep you in line. Um, but then as soon as, the, as soon as the tests come out, you have to take a, a PT test. Um, and again, the reason we have the diagnostic test, and I, and I want to be clear on this, this point too, because it seems to be muddled, and I think sometimes intentionally um, on the receiving end. The reason we're giving diagnostic tests is as soon as the Air Force gives these tests again, they're not going to be practice tests, they're going to be real, and they're going to impact your EPR. There is a container on your EPR that says, means or does not meet standards for PT. If you do not meet standards, there's no gray area, it just simply says, failure, click. You don't get a do-over. So we want to ensure that when you leave here, if the Air Force decides on day one of your first duty station to give you a PT test, that's not going to hook you. That, that's the only reason we're doing this. Can phase one airmen be permitted to wear civvies since it's a holiday weekend? I'll ask. Um, yeah, well, we'll have to, we'll get back to you guys. Let's see, yeah. I, I don't have, a, I personally don't have a problem with, with asking that question. I think there's some, some pros and cons yeah. on that, quite honestly. I, I don't think it hurts anybody. So I don't think putting on civvies makes you do anything stupid necessarily. Um, I mean, I can see where it leads, might lead to a chain of behaviors that might, but um, people do stupid things in PT gear too. So, yeah, we'll see. Mm -hmm. hey, are you guys tracking the AC and the two iron series dorms? Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, <laughs> dilly dally. That's a good one, I guess. Um, yeah, so there's there's not going to be anything special for Independence Day. It seems wrong in the military. You know, things are what you make of it, right? Um, it, it's if we sit here and we stare at the walls, yeah, it's 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 for pardon the speech, but it's a shit sandwich if we just look at it like that. But if we decide it's going to be something, we can do something. Uh, let's you know come up with something and do it. I I I don't know what that answer is because I'm not a 19 or 20 or 21 or 22 year old person in the dorm, um, but you guys are all full-grown adults that learn critical thinking skills. Right. Come up with some legal, ethical, moral that aren't going to get me fired events that we can do within the social distancing things, and let's make it a pretty cool weekend that when you guys are retiring in 25 years, you look back and say, hey, remember when we were locked at Goodfellow when we made it a baller weekend? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean... Yeah, it's, it's pretty much it. I mean, it's, it's more of you guys. You guys are much younger and know exactly what it is you guys like to do while you know within the, the the confines of the base so i would say yeah use your imaginations and if it's safe and it's, it's legal to do then i would say yeah definitely bring it up as an idea can family bring down povs i would not bring family from any place right now um i, I can tell you where um where the calculation is right now people from coming outside of 50 miles it's getting very close to putting you automatically in ROM. Um, so I I would not recommend anybody travel here. Are active duty retirees, anybody with a CAC, still going to be able to get on base? Uh, it depends on the day and it depends on what they're doing. Uh, currently, they're going to allow retirees on certain windows. Um, and and I, I want to be clear on that because I, I understand the visuals on that. Um, and, and I, I specifically asked that because I, I did wanted to stick the landing on this question because um, because you we, you deserve a good answer because it's, it's a good question. Most of our local retirees are of course on a very fixed limited income. They need access to the medical facility to get their medicines. Um, that's where they get that they go to the pharmacy and get medicines because they have access to the bill the base for the medicine. We can't really limit where else they can go. So there's going to be limited windows where they can come on grab some grab their pills, and, and many of them need multiple prescriptions, subscriptions, that would be weird, uh, prescriptions, and then they swing by the BX to grab some food, or commissary to grab their food for the week. Uh, but they are going to minimize those weekends, or those hours, rather. Uh, as far as active, uh, as far as anybody with an active duty ID, yes, you can come yeah. on base. Um, dependent IDs, yes, but that will probably shrink fairly soon, too. 
also, sir, if you want to just emphasize um, his families that have already made arrangements, mm -hmm. that that is... Yeah, I, I can't say this more clear. If, if you've got family coming down to town, it's going to be a sad weekend looking at each other through the gate. Um, and that's a you thing because I told you not to do it. In the last few weeks, we've been saying this is not a good time to have people travel from out of town. So don't do it. And someone asked if they can sit in their family's car and talk to them no. at, the, no. at the visitor center, Don't. and I said no. Yeah, so no. If, what's going to end up happening here is if, if so you can get food deliveries. Yeah. That's so going to work out, right? So yeah. we specifically asked about that. But but if there's a bunch of people sitting in cars at the visitor center, mm -hmm. I'm going to need a phone call Friday and Saturday, and they're going to shut it down. Mm -hmm. um, and full disclosure, because you guys are full-grown adults, um, Security Forces has got a few few cases of the coronavirus, so they're minimally manned. So they're not looking to have a whole lot of people at that space right there because they don't have mannings to deal with large crowds. So if it becomes a tax on them, they're gonna they're going to shut us down. So what we have to do is be very, very, very careful, right? So work within the confines because if it becomes a difficult problem, we're gonna lose everything. Is there a place to work on a POV? I'll be sure. I, I don't know if the hobby shop is going to op stay open or not. I know it was minimal hours, um, but I, I honestly, I, I don't know right now. Um, I'm waiting to get the weekly slide on what's going to be open or closed. I expect it to be limited, so I, I wish I knew. Can drinking consumption hours be extended to either earlier or later by an hour? No. <laughs> so uh, point number two of exciting things and happy things we're going to talk about today. Um, expect some changes to that. Um, it's not going to get shut down, so that's the good news. Um, it is going to get changed. Uh, the locations are going to change. The rules are going to change. Um, but they're going to change in order to keep us open. Um, again, full disclosure, because I'm never going to lie, uh, the intent a couple days ago was it was going to get closed. Um, the, uh, it's not going to get closed. We're going to open up a spot most likely behind 3139 where we have full control of it. Um, and then we're going to do, uh, um, and, and then we're going to control it the way we need to control it, um, and make sure that we control it. We're not chasing rumors, and and and, and actually uh, can attest to our behaviors the way that I, I think that you guys should be able to attest to your behaviors, which I think are normally positive. Um, so yeah, so the, to answer uh, Laura uh, Vestal, and hopefully I said it right. If, if, it, if it's Westal or Westal, don't church it up. I'm going to say Vestal. Um, uh, you've been in close proximity to civilians or possibly retirees, aren't wearing their masks, tell them to put their masks on. Absolutely. Um, I, again, uh, since I've already busted through the line, it is frankly bullshit that there's a standard that we hold students to and nobody else. Um, you can equally tell a civilian to put their mask on the same way somebody can tell you to put your mask on. Do it professionally, um, but do it firmly. Any plans in fixing the projector in the movie room? Mr. Simmons is... He got with you to put an order in for the projector. He needed the model number or whatever. Cool. Yeah, more turkey. So yeah, if we can prioritize that at all. Yeah. With these new safety measures, will the ROM program be put into place again for new airmen? Nothing has changed it's as far as that. Place, That's still going to yeah. be the same thing. So as new airmen come here, they're going to the they're going to go through the checklist. If there's any red flags, they're going to go into the ROM. There's no red flags, and they're going to continue on into the base. So, nothing, so that whole thing is not going to change. Can we get food trucks? Yes, yeah, so there's going to be a few food trucks. Um, I don't know the specifics, but I assume a couple of taco trucks. Um, local and like a, some of the ice. Yeah. Uh, they're they're hit or miss. So again, the local community is is, is getting a little bit beat up with uh, with COVID. I know there was one truck that actually fell out because the owner um, came down with COVID. So uh, I'm not exactly. I'm glad it happened after. After, or before not after because that would have been awkward um so yeah i don't i don't know so when you so when you graduate when can you leave is it the day before i'm sorry day of or day after day. i know i have to do a time right but, or, it's the time frame yeah. okay um as quickly as we can get them out process so okay. the day after you, we're trying to speed it up yeah so more than likely yeah if you graduate today then you can leave as early as tomorrow right. yes my wife will soon be having a C-section. How can I go about getting a family member here to help? 
as she will need help doing daily tasks. So I would work through your MTLs or your instructor, depending on what status you are in and specifics on where you live. If you live on base, it's almost impossible to get a civilian on. Um, it, it's really going to depend on, the, on your specific case. Um, your instructor is right. Uh, I don't want to give you the specific number of cases uh, on base for OPSEC reasons. Um, but yeah, there, there's some cases. So if you have an idea for the weekend, uh, write it up to your MTOs. Uh, and the person asking just for clarity about dependent cards getting on base, they can. But I promise you, if you have a dependent that drives in from outside of 50 miles uh, and comes and hangs out with you on base in close proximity, my, the wrath that I will put on you on Monday, if, that, if you expose that to my student body, is going to be something that you do not want to deal with. I think that was clear enough, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crystal. All right. My instructor said that there was an office or center or something on base to go get a passport for those going overseas. Is that open slash where? That should be the MPF. MPF should help yeah. you with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, think, I mean, your MTL, the MTL should be able to hook you up. Yeah. 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 Hi. Already came to the rescue. Um, and I agree ice cream is better than snow cones, but I can't find an ice cream truck. So I actually called the, uh, the Scoopy place. Is they have Scoop? Yeah. They don't make enough ice cream to bring a truck on base. They would sell out in about five minutes. Oh, wow. They, yeah, sorry. Have there been any updates on airmen who are going to JCAC? The last I heard, there were no male spots and diminishing female spots. Yeah. Well, it's not diminishing because that would be impossible unless we send people. I'm on critical thinking, folks. But yeah, it's limited. If we score well enough on our PT test, can we go back to doing self-paced no. PT? No. The reason we're not going back to self-paced is you guys told me, well, <laughs> the staff and students said we were doing it for five months, and uh, clearly that wasn't the, uh, the case. Is JCAC still open? JCAC is still open. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They think you're savage, sir. I'm not trying to be savage. That's free burn. That's free burn? Oh! Free burn, but a hush. No, so I mean, again, I'm, I'm really not trying to be rude. I, I want to be as honest as I can with you guys. And, and the intent is to treat you like adults. So the, the honesty, the idea is not to be court, rude, or disrespectful. Um, oh, clown. Okay. Okay. Freeburn said it's a good thing, I swear. Okay, I, I backtrack. Cool. I hear the field part of SB80 is no longer happening due to COVID. Are there any updates on what is going to happen with that? Um, I don't know. Um, that's, that is for the straight up first heard from me. Yeah. Yep. For the JCAC, they are uh, submitting new packets for senior updates and stuff. So okay. yeah. we're still going through because they just sent this out. That would be weird if they're not doing the field stuff. I don't know how they would actually get you SBA equality because you have to go to the field. All right, you're in the boil. Thank you, Aaron Boyle. I really appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so consistently, uh, so that's a great question. What we are going to try to do is every time I know something, I'm going to push it out to the instructors, push out to the MTLs, uh, to get posted up every place we can. Uh, right now, I do not know many facts, which is why there's not a lot of stuff hanging up, but expect by about noon tomorrow, there will be things hang, hung up everywhere. Um, uh, what I want to do is basically cover every flat space with everything that, that we do know. Um, not a lot, but, but it's what we do have. Yeah. All right, so squadron casuals should not be taking a PT test every week. So I'm not sure where that's coming from. Mm -hmm. Basically, they're saying squadron casuals are taking the PT test every week while everybody else has in class aren't being able to do that. Yeah, so if you're in FIP, yes, you're taking a diagnostic every week. If you're not in FIP, mm -hmm. then you once shouldn't a week. Do, 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 do PT once a week. And it's your PT session. Yeah. It's, right. This happens to be a diagnostic, yeah. but not for you. It's just yeah. your session. Okay. <laughs> They want to know if no. you can, if they can play paintball or have a paintball course paintball. at the Catam area. Um, I don't, I don't, have, I don't own it, so no. Um, it seems like something that we may be able to do, but that would probably take a whole lot of planning. I, and I don't think, I don't think the base is in a place to even entertain that right now. Right, right. Um, 
Is Cadam staying open? It's gonna have to because people gotta shoot. Yeah. With even higher spikes in cases in the local area and on base, is it really wise having a large gathering like a barbecue? I know people want to have fun, but what are the safety measures in place? Who's having a barbecue? Well, I wasn't invited to have a barbecue. Yeah, like, so we haven't scheduled any barbecues. I mean, I know it's an idea, but... On Friday or on Saturday, we're looking to cook out. Yeah, okay. so if we do have a squadron, what we'll do is socially distance. So you can have, if you have enough space, you can have, you know... Yeah. You can have a lot of people. Over Everybody a lot of space. don't need to be on the yeah. grill. Some people can spread out. Whoever's cooking is cooking with their with their oh, covered up. Everybody else, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so. six feet masks. We can do a lot of stuff, right? Yeah. So, Freeburn wants to know if he can go to the Cadam Range just to shoot. Oh. No. I know it'll change as the situation changes with COVID, but is there a set <laughs> time frame on how long we will be restricted? <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, yeah, I can I can speak to that. Um, what the boss's intent is, and, I, and I, again, I think this is smart, right? Um, and I have to say that because it's my boss. No, um, so we're going to start. The, the real lockdown occurs today, tomorrow, on the sixteenth, which gives us two weeks to collect data. We are going to sit down and do a data-driven decision on how well the local populace has adhered to the Texas laws, uh, and how much the change has occurred, and whether or not we can, you know, dump our feet back into the water. Uh, and, and that will be our first change. So I'd expect around the 16th to see some some possible changes. Uh, and really, if, if you're reading the papers, you should, or reading the papers, there's no <laughs> papers anymore. If you're paying attention to the news online, whatever people do these days, right. uh, hell, it's, there's nothing else to do. You might as well read the paper, right? Um, <laughs> just, uh, yeah, if you're paying attention, um, you should probably have an idea on which way that's going to lead, right? As long as, uh, as long as things are settling back down, we'll probably start loosening back up. Is the EC closed this weekend? Right now it is, but part of it might open back up. They got an idea on putting up some big, long tables. Not the drinking part of it, because all the bars in Texas have closed. Um, but the non-drinking part, um, where people play their Dungeons and Dragons games or whatever, uh, that's going to open up, I guess, uh, with big space in between them. With the return of lockdown, is leadership going to do anything to ensure the morale stays up? Not barbecues. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, um, they're trying. They just said they're yeah, so actually I want to address that question again. Um, so the number one thing that I believe I can do for your morale is keep the schoolhouse open. Yes. So every decision we're making is designed to keep the schoolhouse open because that gives you a reason to get out of bed because that means eventually you're going to get out of bed and leave here. Right. Um, so, yeah, we're going we're gonna to keep training uh, and everything is going to start from there. But we are right now thinking about how, what do we do that can keep you guys entertained? But I, I don't know. If somebody gives me an idea, we're, we're going to do it if I can. But tell me what you want to do. All right. The DOD travel plan question. Now that the DOD has lifted the travel ban everywhere but California and Florida, can you share any insight to what will open up AETC to allowing us to take leave again? Or does there need to be zero cases in the U.S.? I, yeah, okay, man. Um, I, I, I don't know. Um, I know that... I'm operating under my, you know, un under my mandate. My mandate is to keep the training moving. Um, there are squadrons that have the luxury of, of not having 500 people living in two dorms. Uh, with, they don't have to worry about a, an epidemic taking down their mission because one people got one person got sick. So we're taking precautions that you may not have to take in other place. So for us, our our acceptable level of risk is very low. So expect us to loosen up probably after other people do. The skiff will be open for two days. That information was passed out to the instructors. Can we have a really large socially distanced concert? Not if you're playing. I don't know, man. Um, Is Sears still open? As far as we know, yeah. We have yeah. yeah. I got force gain to Osan and I've been trying for over a month and a half now to get my orders amended so I can PCS. Is there anything I can do besides going to MPF every day? That's Rickley. Who have you talked to? R-I-K-L-I. R-I-K-L-I. First yeah. name Michael. <laughs> R-I-K-L-Y. I. Rickley. 
<laughs> Dude, I'm not even going to entertain that one. That's a good question. Oh, no. my gosh. Well, you got a fight line out there. If you could. No, please don't do that. The last person who did that yeah. had seen me in their blues, and it was awful. So yeah. please don't. Oh, Greg Racing? Yeah. Uh, How did you know? I didn't even have it was to one of your people. It was one of your people. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> one yeah. of four. Don't do that. I already knew it. All right. Passports hey. get with MPF. Sorry, sir. No, no, no. So, hey, I really do appreciate the, the levity of some of these questions. It is a serious situation, but I appreciate the fact that you guys can still, some of you can, can have some, some jokes in there. Court procedures for sexual assault and or enforced policy on collateral misconduct. I thought we sent, the thought we sent that out. Yeah. Um, did we not get that posted everywhere? That was set up. Okay, so I was under the impression that the collateral uh, misconduct, yeah. misconduct yeah. data went out everywhere to include in the... Um, Discord app, but I will get that back out. We posted the exact verbiage out of the uh, out of the legal document, but uh, if not, I will reattack yeah. on that tomorrow because that, that's something I, I don't want to say wrong because there is some legal legality that needs to be specifically stated, and I will, as you can tell, mess that up. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll reattack on that tomorrow, but it'll be on Discord. It'll be on the whiteboard. So apparently, Rickley says he's talked with the MTOs about it every day. Personnel at this town, they're working on it. Yeah. He needs yeah. his orders amended? Yeah. So I think a giant socially distanced Simon Says tournament would be awesome. We've got a megaphone. Mm -hmm. um, if you do it, videotape it. I, I, yeah. And that's not, a, I'm, that's not a joke. I mean, that is something that would be awesome. Um, and when the Air Force talks about, we always, we, well, and again, I'm going to soapbox it for a second, but it's, it's, it's only internet it goes away right um you know we're, when you when you do things like that we, we always talk about things like uh resiliency and it always ends up being a powerpoint right um and that's all crap but dude if you throw something like that together that's actual real um yeah do it that'd be cool red light green light yeah red light green light six feet apart in there whatever <laughs> um yeah please just again six feet apart in, 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 yeah. Uh, so resiliency, we we're actually talking about that today. Um, for, but I will tell you, I'm not a huge fan of resiliency today. I think resiliency is probably the wrong word. I think it should be empathy day. Uh, resiliency kind of means it's a you problem. I think empathy means that we have a better culture. Um, but we will actually, um, uh, we're, we're trying to figure out how we would do an empathy day in this, this kind of environment. So Max said he's working Rick Lee's thing. I okay, guess he good. has to get Force Game back to here. Oh, his passport to have his, yeah, to roll, yeah. So he's working with MPF, you said. So okay, cool. Thanks, Max. Go into Europe. Uh, someone wants to know for a morale booster if they could wear PT gears on a Black Flag day to class. There should be. A thing oh, you want to wear your PT gear? No, that's only for class. class. Um. It's only if the room is hot. It's kind of a tough one right now. Um, if the room's hot, you wear them. But uh, mm -hmm. not in the moment, but there's a maybe. So let's, let's, I can't say yes, but I wouldn't yell at you for that question. Hopefully you don't feel like I'm yelling. Is it possible to get a socially distanced drill competition against the other squadrons? Have the black rope. Talk to the black rope. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah, we already have one in August. They're asking about the AC again. Yeah, so I, I, I will make sure the AC gets looked at tomorrow, okay? Is CE working? So can you make make sure it hold me to that tomorrow, please? Mm -hmm. um, great question uh, from Aaron Cheese. Um, yeah, so we actually brought that up to the group today. Uh, that is absolutely unacceptable um, that the teal ropes that um, yeah, that is absolutely unacceptable. Yeah. We do not have enough teal ropes, so we are working to the group level, 06 level, uh, to get that fixed. I appreciate, um, and actually, I, I would hold you up as an example of an airman who cares, so thank you for that. Um, and, and I appreciate you caring probably more than you should, that should have to. Um, the system should care enough for you, but, but thank you. Good. 
executive stated that leave is authorized amid COVID. Are we following that policy? We are. You could take leave. I could also deny it. <laughs> uh, leave is that you are allowed to put in leave, and I am allowed to say no. Uh, that is the standard Air Force policy. Commanders can deny leave. But uh, again, I'm not going to relitigate Colonel Nazario's policy. I mean, unless you think no. I need to. No. Sorry, I'm not no. trying to be frustrated. It's just like, no. folks, this is the reality we're in. Yep. Yeah. It isn't. I'm it's sorry, not. Andrew. Um, I cannot let any, I, I, I got to tell you that the, we are, we have got to stick the next two weeks because the, the, the wing, the, the governor, the, the mayor, they're all on the same page right now. Texas needs to take a two minutes of chill the hell out and, and let this cool down so that we can actually go on with our lives because we didn't do it the last time. So we're, we are collectively as a, as a state, nation, however we want to look at it, right. we're, we're kind of getting a little bit of a timeout because we didn't do it right last time. So sorry, man. Sorry. All right, so one airman, Yumi, yes, is having a toilet issue. Did they get this uh, facility up here? Oh, they're trying to get it up here. In the process. Okay. Yeah, they have it pushed up in Discord and they can get it. He said, I have reported several times and it's still no fix. Let's see if we come out and look at it. Why you, am I? Why you am I? Nope. Phillips? No, I, no. I, I can't let you off base. It is. So, uh, AJ Ahmed? Ahmed, Ahmed, Ahmed. Um, you're going to have to, um, work with your specific leadership to, that's going to have to be done to the exact minute in time if we're going to do that. Uh, maybe, maybe not for Martin. It's going to be specific case yeah. by case. Right. They don't were. Jeez, we were. Yes, I've got, I got nothing, man. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> He said, if we all get it, then nobody gets it, right? I think we can work on this, though. Um, so here, here's the thing. The better we do, the easier it's going to be for, for me to allow the things that we need to allow, right? But I can't just come off the gate and be like, okay, you can go places, you can go places, you can go places, because then we're going to be going places. So help me help you, right? Sir, back to the phasing. If the restrictions continue, will you be changing around the way you handle the phasing differentiations? I, I don't know what that means. No, I don't think we should change it because it, it, it causes a lot of confusion. Yeah, I, I, I can't really do that too much because I don't own the phasing. The phasing is a group policy. I, I really overstepped my bounds last time. That was failure on me. Um, Red Ball will probably not be opening. I don't think the, God, the Red Ball is going to be allowed access to base. Um, Probably going to have to uh, go to the gate and catch a taxi. Yeah, I don't know though. Yes. Yeah. I don't think there's going to be any questions. Mm -hmm. That's it. So we're hoping. Yeah. Got some. All right. Oh. Can CQ drop you off at the gate with a golf cart? I think it says this is a statement, yeah. Oh, okay. Not a question. CQ can't. Okay. Yeah. What if the vehicle has safety related issues that need to be addressed and they're planning on driving? Sure. Why do you everyone for that? Does that matter? 
Hey, hey Mac, we'll, we'll get back together on that question tomorrow, okay? Yeah. Um, so as far as how many people, there's no number, right? So the number, really the number that matters is, is six, six feet, feet, right? That's the number. Yeah. Six feet. Yeah. If you got enough space, we got a hundred feet. Hey. Six feet within there. I'm not doing the math in public. I'll mess yeah. it up, right? Yeah. We actually practiced that. That was awesome. Yeah. That, that was, was good. Man. That, that was, was, that was, that was like, good. Yeah. You guys recorded that. Yeah. That's going to be a meme. <laughs> That's about the best I'll ever do, just so you know. <laughs> man. I wish my daughter had seen that. <laughs> five like star, eat, five eat. star. <laughs> okay. Um, Hey, we're gonna wrap this up because um be all day. Cause, yeah, man, it's, <laughs> I, I can't change the realities and i know people are gonna i mean um <laughs> oh. <laughs> not really for the command <laughs> okay you, i'll let somebody else answer that question um phone number for the security manager okay all right yes <laughs> wrap it up you, you want to wrap it up first you want me to wrap it up first no um so I would say, you know, we're, we're, we're getting ready to go into um, um, a long weekend. Um, I'm not going to beat a dead horse. I'm not going to continue to draw on and on about uh, the situation. <clears throat> but I will say, if nothing else, take the four days, the opportunity to, um, to relax. I know most of you guys have been working hard, whether that's, you know, doing things around a squadron like CQ, or whether if you're in class or preparing to get into class, take the next or take the four day weekend to really try to, to unwind and relax and just enjoy some well deserved time off. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, hey, Chandler, um, we hit him up today, so we should have that yeah. closure on that. Um, I expect that online super fast. Oh, yeah, do PT. That's a good time. So, um, there you go. That's what I'll be out mm -hmm. uh, yeah. rolling around. So. Yeah, like Senior said, um, it, it is what it is. The faster we accept reality, uh, the better it's going to be for all of us. Uh, I've asked the staff uh, to kind of be around this weekend, not to see what you're doing, but to see how you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, just to kind of, you know, hang out as, as people, right? So we're going to have to, we're going to have to get through this together. Um, but I, I know we can because I know we did. I appreciate everything that you guys have done. I appreciate everything that you're going to do. Um, I appreciate the the levity in this conversation because yeah, yeah. quite honestly it hasn't been the best of days so right, right. um i i really really appreciate the professionalism that you guys are facing this with um it's not the best leave is awful i imagine some of you have to have some really awful conversation with your family that you're not going to see this weekend when you thought you could um i'm sorry um we'll work with this we'll get it better whatever we can do to make things as good as possible please up channel that there's nothing off the table if you've got a good and workable plan. Uh, that's all I got for you. Uh, again, have a great time. Yeah. Have a great evening. Thank you for your uh, thank you for your time tonight.